Hey guys, Alice War and welcome back. Uh, today exercise uh, we have equation and we trying to solve to find the value of x. In last video uh, we solve a problem where we find uh, to solve an equation for x. What different in this uh, example, we just have one variable, which is minus 5x. Uh, I want you to take uh, one second and look at the equation and see how you can solve it and then we can go through. What we have here is two times the whole parenthesis and 8 minus 5x plus 6 equals 2. In this exercise, uh, we're going to take like a uh, multiple uh, step to solve this type of the problem. So I want you to take a look again and see how you can solve or you can approach to solve this problem. In all the example we have before, or the problem we have before, the goal here is to solve, to find the value of x. And to solve it, you have to put a variable on the left side and the number on the right side. And then you'll be able to solve or divide it uh, 5 to an equation or the number you get here. If you look at these, there's an element you have to eliminate in for you to be able to solve or to find the value of x. So I hope you look at and you see how you can approach it. Let's take a look how you do it. The first thing we want to do here is subtract 6 from the both side of the equation. And why? Because we're trying to uh, get rid of, of this 6 and 2 before even we can uh, find the value of x. To do so, a, b, 2 times 8 minus 5x plus, uh, plus 6 minus 6. 2 minus 6. Because what we're trying to do here is to put a number inside and then to put a variable on the other side. And for us, to find the value of x. To simplify what we have here, you still have 2 and the whole thing times 8 minus 5x. And because 6 became a 0, that means it will equal. So when we have a negative and positive and the number of the, the big one here, we have 6, we're going to have minus 4. Because we have a different sign here, negative and positive. So we're going to leave where is minus 4. Take a look again and see what we can get rid of here. It's 2. So what we're going to do here, we're going to divide it 2 by uh, both sides of the equation here. So 2 divided, because we're taking this 2 and four minus 4 divided to 2. And 
as you can see, two is going to go and minus four divided to two equal minus two. Because two divided to two is two, two divided to two is one, so we have two. Now, what left here, it be 8 minus 5x equal minus 2. Next step, we're going to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. It will equal 8 minus 5x minus 8 equal minus 2 minus 8. And 8 is going to go with 8 here. We still have minus 5x equal 10, minus 10. How we get 10? Because we have minus 8 plus minus 2, we get 10. The last step we have to do here is to buy this minus 5 to the both sides of the equation. It would equal minus 5 divided 2 minus 10. So 10 divided to 10 is 1. The same thing here is 1. And minus 10 divided to minus 5, it became a positive. And we know that rule. So here is 2, and here is 1. The answer should be 2. So the x equal positive 2. And the reason when you divide it minus to minus is always equal to positive 2. And that's what we have today. So let's get back again. We have 2 uh, multiplied to the whole thing. 8 minus 5x plus 6 equal 2. What we've done, the first thing we subtract uh, 6 from the both sides of the equation. When you have a minus 6, you subtract from 2, you left with minus 4. And then we went back and take 2, we divided to the whole side of the equation, we got minus 2. Here we became, so we took this off, we became have my, uh, 8 minus 5x equal minus 2. And what we've done here, we're going to subtract 8 from the both sides of the equation. So this one becomes zero. Uh, when we have a minus uh, and minus eight, it became minus ten. And then we divided the five x minus five x to the uh, both sides of the equation, and that's how we got two. Thank you. If you have a question, let me know.